Today, I have the distinct pleasure of meeting with Greg Andrews of Search Minerals. How are you today, Greg? I'm very well. Thank you, Tracy. Greg, I'm very passionate about Search Minerals. I mean, you are one of the few options on this planet, especially in North America, to provide uh, critical rare earths to our market. So I would love it if you would just start by introducing our audience to Search Minerals and why you're such a, a real contender in our sector. Well, Search Minerals has a, has a deposit in Labrador, a safe jurisdiction, and we've recently completed our PEA, which takes in our technology with our resource and gives us a robust economics of our project. Well, according to Robin Bromby, of course, he was mentioning your robust economics, your updated uh, PEA has shown how realistic it is for you to actually produce neo neodymium, dysprosium, terbium, and I think presidium. Is that yes, correct? That's correct. And and yes, and that's all been led with our breakthrough in our technology back in 2014, which has allowed us to reduce four processes of our flow chart, which would be eliminating the grinding and the flotation, magnetic, and sep uh, gravity separation. And for those of our investor intel audience that are not familiar with Labrador, it is in North America. And in addition to that, I would like to get everyone as excited and interested in uh, the critical rare earth element sector as humanly possible. I think you also have a very competitive strategy, is that not correct? A triangle, search mineral triangle strategy. A search mineral strategy is to complete our triangle, which comprises of number one, a strategic investor or partner, along with an offtake agreement partner. Of course, I think one of the other advantages of Search Minerals is that you also have your proprietary technology for extracting the rare earth oxides. Is that correct? Right to, pro right to commercialization? Yes, we do, Tracy. And that was led by Dr. David Dreisinger, who is a professor and um, industry research chair at UBC, and he's developed that technology for us. Well, obviously, someone believes that you have a substantial group. I think you mentioned you have three PhDs on your team because I saw that you got uh, you received uh, 1.25 million in R&D towards your new pilot plant. Is that correct? That's correct. Atlanta Canada Opportunity Agency and Research Development Corporation in Newfoundland have co-partnered with with this project. It's a 1.9 million dollar project to test our metallurgy with our concept that our eliminating those four processes will lead to lower costs and that's what this larger demonstration plant should provide for us. And what's the timeline for the demonstration plant? We should be complete by probably August, September of this year. Okay, so in addition to having your pilot plant up at the end of the year, what else should we as shareholders anticipate? Because I do recall you had a news release about another project you have and the potential there. Yes, within our district we have another prospect that we have uh, did some channel samples on in 2015 called Deepwater Fox. And the initial uh, look of that, if it's consistent with Foxtrot, would, would provide three times larger resource and up to 10 to 15 percent larger grades. Okay, so we have quite the resource then here with Search Minerals, is that correct? Yes, working towards our district. And then of course we also have, uh, you're working towards production in the next uh, three years, is that what we're looking at? Yes, in, in our timeline would, would include a feasibility study, environmental study, and decision to build. And that would be about a three years away, if everything was working right. So for those of us, Greg, I really appreciate you doing this interview with us today that are very interested in the compelling issues of sustainability. Can you tell us why, um, why search minerals? Why search minerals? Well, we have, w with our resource, with our technology, with our PEA, and the support of the, the, both the federal and provincial governments, to be able to be a rare earth producer in Canada or North America, that is our goal, to be in production within three years. Well, I'll tell you, Greg, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy. It was a pleasure.